Well, folks, today is the weekend. Been waiting for it. Man, I'm, I'm so glad. <laughs> this week of work sucked. So, it's it's time. It's time to start refinishing this fireplace that I got last week. And then I clean all this mess up and not look so crappy. So, let's go over the tools real quick. Here are the tools that I'm using. Uh, just a screwdriver. Don't know why. Uh, a brush, some tape, and assortment of grinding wheels and grinding nubs this isn't a wheel to me this is more like a grinding thumb or a nub you know so yeah it's got a 3m uh, sanding disc and i got the trusty rusty dusty old busted black and decker cordless drill and the paint that i'm going to be using today first off is the rust-oleum automotive primer high heat primer up to 2,000 degrees. Do I need this? Mm, don't know, but I'm going to give her a shot. Rust-Oleum High Heat Black for grills, wood stoves, and more. And a product I've never used before, but I watched a gentleman on YouTube restore his stove that's similar to mine in a red color with a black door and a black top. I really thought that was cool, so I'm going to give her a go myself. I'll have a link below in the description to that guy's video. Check him out too. Now the hard part is getting this heavy bitch outside. So give me a minute while I pull my groin. I know this place is a mess. The transformation is coming, I promise. Uh, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> I've been saying it for five years, but I promise. Uh, it's coming. Okay, that only sucked a little. Are you serious? Are you stove kitties now? Huh? You gotta be in everything I'm doing. First thing I did was take the door off. You can kind of see it's seen better days, I guess you could say. And I'm just gonna use this uh, 3M grinding wheel. It's meant for getting rid of rust and paint. The gentleman in the video uses something similar, so that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna work on the back first because the back is, you know, kind of the worst. Here, Virgo. Watch out, kitties. Yeah, this thing isn't the best in the world. I have to say, it's working pretty good. I, I'm not even using no pressure other than what, you know, the weight of the drill. I don't know if this door originally had glass. I mean, the metal's cut perfect, but... I'm going to put glass in it. I guess I'll have to get a new bracket. Why don't you get the wrong tool for the job? I don't mind if I do. <laughs> it's only the wrong tool for the job if it doesn't work. Remember that, kids. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. I just noticed I've got two holes in my door. I've got one here and there's one up here. It's like where those screws went in on the back side. Yeah, like right here you can see. I don't know if that's because they went too far or what, but uh, I might need to get that fixed. So now that I got this nice and uh, prepped, you're not ever going to get all the rust out of this metal unless maybe you put it in some type of chemical dip, and I'm just not trying to do that. Now this is uh, McGuire's wheel cleaner, but it's not. It's just a, a one called Purple Power Degreaser. It's either that or it's a carpet cleaning solution, whichever. <laughs> But it'd be enough to get the dust and everything off of the metal. Yeah, that's purple power. Now, you can buy purple power at the dollar store. and Or maybe it's called Mean Cleaner or something like that, but it's really good. You can get like a whole gallon for like five or six bucks. You can dilute it. You can use it as like carpet cleaner and all kinds of stuff. But yeah. 
it's good stuff. Now I did see or remember I've got to get a new fire gasket to go in the door. So I'll probably go to Tractor Supply, see if I can't find a, just a generic universal one. Or I might have to go to my local um, hardware store on the other side of the lake and pick it up. So. Jimmy, what's up? It's neighbor Jimmy. Let's just drive, and then I'll come back with the Rust-Oleum primer. And Rust-Oleum does a pretty good job at inhibiting rust, in my opinion, as a primer anyway. So, I'll just let, let that go like that, and now we can work on the stove. Get, get out. You want to get painted? That's probably what I need to do. I need to invent paint that's friendly to animals. That way, when they get in your way, you can just paint the shit out of it. <laughs> so, Rosola and Primer. The only other little thing I've been finding, like I said, I think they've burnt plastic in here something and I'm having to go in here and chip it out or grind it out whatever I can and I got most of it off of this plate here but that's kind of the biggest headache right now you know the bottom is good to go and I should be ready to prime this thing here in the next couple hours but I got to get to the parts store and hurry up and get back before it starts raining I don't think it's supposed to rain but it sure looks like it oh yeah sure looks like rain Okay, whole stove has been grinded, although not to perfection. It's going to be good enough to throw on a couple of coats of primer, and hopefully that primer will um, kind of keep it from rusting anymore. I'm kind of in a time crunch because it's starting to rain. We got the primer done and it's starting to spit rain and my primer's still a little bit wet. Well, the, the rain just got to be too much. It's like a mist that's kind of landed on everything. So I brought it back in here into the kitchen and I'm just going to finish it in here. I mean, I'm getting it done. It's, it's going to get accomplished one way or another before the day. Got the stove prepped. I got the paint heated up. So it should spray nice. So first thing I'm going to do is to get down here and spray the feet. And then I'm going to lean in on its side, paint the bottom, the inside of the feet, and paint the back of the stove. And I'm going to use just the barbecue black, the, this paint. And then I'm going to use the red around the sides and then do the top, maybe the little, little front porch, I guess you could call it, uh, in black, the regular semi-gloss black. So I think that would look pretty nice.
Okay, now we're getting down to the fun part. I've got everything masked off that I don't want to get the color on. And I think I'm ready. I'm gonna shake this red up. Here it is again. Bright stove, high temperature stove paint. This is Mojave Red, I guess that's how you say it. Majove. <laughs> and I picked up a couple fire bricks because I was trying to just get an idea of how many I'm going to need. So it looks like four or so for the bottom and then I'll probably need three, six, nine, maybe ten or eleven for the sides. And these things are not cheap. They're three ninety nine a piece. I got this and I'm going to go ahead and put that on so it'd be something else I'll be able to Mark off the list, and I'll have to order a piece of glass. I'm going to order a piece as big as that uh, square piece of steel, or rectangular piece of steel that was here. And I'm having to, I'm guessing it's going to be over $100 from what websites I've been finding because it's actual glass for fireplaces. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of expensive. But all said and done, it's, I think it's going to look nice. Okay, it says to dampen the area of water. Roger that. We are now dampened. Need the tube I am needing. So to apply the minimum amount of glue to the area, which I don't know what a minimum is, but you're gonna come out. Oh shit! Whoa! Good lord! As you can see, I'll start at my first burn in the stove to try to get the paint and everything to cure. I'm going to start some small fires first. So, there's the fire seal. I think it's set up pretty nice. I just need to get some prettier bolts than those down there. Maybe I can find some 
chrome ones. <laughs> Probably won't last very long, but. Now the longer I keep a fire going in the stove, it looks like the box itself is getting darker. It's turning more into like a, I guess you can call it a burgundy color. And it's really looking nice. I like that. And if you didn't see the back, that's what the back looks like. It's just black. But yeah, I think this is going to be a really good stove. I've had a fire going in this thing for several hours now. So, it's doing really good. Well, folks, I hope you liked this video. If you would, please like and subscribe. Check out the links below in the description for all the tools and everything that I used. There'll be Amazon links if you'd like to go get something for yourself. That'd be greatly appreciated. So, the rest of the video is just a sit and chill kind of video. If you just like to watch a fire, you know, just get your favorite beverage and sit back and watch the fire in the stove.